developing cultural competence results in an ability to understand, communicate with, and effectively interact with people across cultures. It is an open-ended process by which individuals and systems respond respectfully and effectively to people of all cultures, languages, classes, races, ethnic backgrounds, religions, and other diversity factors in a manner that recognizes, affirms, and values the worth of individuals, families, and communities. Cultural agility is the end result of achieving cultural knowledge, sensitivity, and awareness. Consider the following, cultural competence as a set of congruent behaviors, attitudes and policies that come together as a system to work effectively to create the best outcomes for all in cross-cultural interactions. Cultural competence and agility requires that organizations have a defined set of values and principles, and demonstrate behaviors, attitudes, and policies that enable them to work effectively cross-culturally. Cultural competence is a developmental process that occurs over an extended period of time. Individuals and organizations can be at various levels of awareness, knowledge, and skills as they seek to develop cultural competence and cultural agility. So what is culture? A simple way to think about culture is that it is a way that a group of individuals or a group of, of people have learned about how to interact with the world around them. That culture is a, a response to developing within a particular context, right? And so when we think about uh, culture, I want us to think about the context by which these cultures have developed. Because if we don't understand the context, then we don't necessarily understand the behavior. And so as we, as we talk more, we'll talk a, a bit more about context and how that relates to the development of culture and why that's important to recognize context as it relates to culture. And what are the relationships between those two? One thing I will tell you now is that as context changes, so must culture. As context changes, so must culture. So when we think about cultural agility, what I really want us to, to, what I want to stick in our minds is that I will be in a number of different uh, contexts, a different, different situations. And so being able to be agile, to move between those uh, in, a, in a way that is effective is, uh, is important. That's the skill we're trying to build. So when we talk about cultural agility, we're talking about how do I uh, effectively respond to the context, respond to the culture that I'm in, in a way that allows me to achieve goals, uh, as well as build community, be clearly understood by others. But ultimately, how do I how do I move within these contexts and these cultures so that I can be effective in everything that I do? So that is the 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 the, the primer for cultural agility. So before we can talk about being culturally agile or cultural competence, I want to take a step back. And I'd like for us to think about how do we even define the concepts of diversity and inclusion, right? So, so diversity is the recognition and the honoring of our commonalities and our differences, right? So as, as much as we are alike, we are also very different from other people, be it our, our our personality, how we communicate, what we like or, or dislike, Th those are kind of the the things that make us make us different. Simultaneously, we are very much alike, right? And, and, and I do this joke in my presentations around this idea of of being hungry for something or yearning for something. And all of us have uh, have yearned for something or been hungry for something, whether physically or metaphysically, uh, yearning or uh, hungry for something. We've also uh, been in love, uh, either with a, a thing or a, a another person. We've felt it, we've engaged in it. Um, we've also had our hearts broken, right? And so being not being able to achieve the thing that we're yearning for or not being um, 
in a relationship that's reciprocal of the, the 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 emotions that we feel for either another person or or a thing, right? So so we've we we we've all yearned for something, we've all hungered for something, we've all uh, felt what what it means to be loved, and we've also had that that love uh, or or that yearning broken in some way, right? And so w- w- those are the things that make us very much alike. And so those differences that we see uh, oftentimes can be seen as obstacle illusions, obstacle illusions, artificial barriers to authentic human relationships. And so when we think about diversity from that standpoint, that it is our commonalities and our differences, we recognize that we have to honor those on a regular basis, right? So I have to recognize the ways in which we are different, but I also have to recognize the ways in which we are very similar. And it's with that concept that we're able to get to this place of inclusion. So what is inclusion? Inclusion is simply the creating of an environment where our commonalities and our differences uh, help elevate us to achieve organizational goals or to achieve our personal goals, right? And so inclusion is, is the setting of the environment where my commonalities and my differences are seen as opportunities, leverages to advance organizational goals collectively. And it is also a place where I can bring my best self, right? So I can bring my best self in an inclusive environment that has been created. So, so how do we create those environments? Well, partly we have goals for the organization or, or for the group that we're working with, and then we make sure that that folks can reach those goals with ever to, with whatever tools or. Um, We make sure that people have the ability to help us reach those goals, given their talents, their skills, and their abilities, right? So, so we, we, we take all of those diversity of gifts and we put them um, in, in an organizational structure that allows them to bring their best self to work. So when we talk about diversity, we're talking about our commonalities and our differences. And that means accounting for them, honoring them, um, acknowledging them. And inclusion is simply creating environments where people can bring their best self to work and their gifts, talents, and abilities can help the organization move in a particular direction.